students in this lecture we will study about ecologically significant species in species ka bahut jyada significance hota hai ecological point of view se so different terms we will use like keystone species flagship species umbrella species foundation species indicator species etc so let us start with the keystone species की स्टोन का मतलब होता है वो स्टोन जो कि पूरी बिल्डिंग को एक साथ एकजुट करके रखता है फॉर एग्जांपल मैंने एक आर्च का एग्जांपल लिया है इस फिगर के अंदर पुराने टाइम में हम देखते थे जब बिल्डिंग में एंटर करते थे तो एक आर्च होती थी वो आर्च क्या है डिफरेंट स्टोन से बनती थी दीज ब्रैकेट्स दीज ब्रैकेट्स आर नथिंग बट स्टोन्स तो उसमें जो ये बीच का स्टोन होता था दैट इज़ द की स्टोन ये बहुत ही क्रिटिकल स्टोन होता था अगर इस स्टोन को हटा दिया जाए देन द होल आर्च विल कोलेप्स In a similar way, if the keystone species is removed from the environment, then the whole ecological system will disrupt. The entire ecosystem will collapse. If a keystone animal is removed from the forest, then the whole forest will collapse. The other species will disappear. One of the best example of keystone species is starfish. Starfish is a very very important species in the rock and sea. टाइप ऑफ इंटरफेस सी में क्या है छोटे छोटे प्लैंगटन्स होते हैं और इन प्लैंगटन्स को ईट करने के लिए जब सी और रॉक का इंटरफेस हमें देखने को मिलता है तो यहाँ पर छोटी छोटी स्पीशीज अपने आप को अटैच कर लेती हैं इस रॉक की सरफेस पे फॉर एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पर डिफरेंट स्पीशीज विल अटैच दमसेल्वस सो दैट दे कैन ईट द दे कैन ईजली ईट द प्लैंगटन्स तो ये मरीन स्पीशीज़ अपने आप को रॉक से इसलिए अटैच करती हैं कि जब भी प्लैंगटन्स जैसे ही पानी रॉक से टकराएगा पानी के अंदर प्लैंगटन्स होंगे एंड दीज स्पीशीज़ कैन ईट ऑन द प्लैंगटन्स प्लैंगटन्स क्या होते हैं छोटे छोटे बहुत ही छोटे छोटे माइक्रो प्लांट्स होते हैं सो दीज आर द फूड्स दीज प्लैंगटन्स आर द फूड फॉर दीज मरीन स्पीशीज इन सच सिचुएशन देर आर ऑल्सो सर्टन लार्जर स्पीशीज लाइक म्यूसल्स these mussels are big species they will come and they will attach themselves to the wall these are big species they will attach themselves to the wall and they won't leave any space for the other species because mussels also want to eat the planktons therefore to get the planktons more and more mussels they come and attach to the rock surface leaving no space for the other species to attach when there are no space for the other animals other other animal species then these other animal species will eventually die now at this point of time starfish plays a critical role it eats the mussels and when mussels are being eaten by starfish space is created on the rock surface and other species can attach themselves to the rock therefore it is the starship starfish which through its action of eating mussels is providing space to other animal species so that they can attach to the rock surface and then they can also eat the planktons another example of keystone species is dugong dugong is also known as sea cow sea cow because just like cow eat the grass dugong also eats the marine grass these sea cows or dugong are found in andaman nicobar region or the gulf of munnar region between india and sri lanka there is a, a gulf which is known as gulf of munnar so this is gulf of munnar agar ye jo marine grass hai ye ugti rahe ye bahut badi ho jaye then other marine species such as fishes lobsters then they will their movement will be impacted the animals could not freely swim that's why these animals then eventually will move out of the particular area when dugong come it eats all the grass and it cleans the area so that other animals other animal species marine animal species can come and stay there therefore dugong is providing key, a space to other marine species therefore dugong is also an example of keystone species next important concept is flagship species flagship species they act as ambassador or icon or symbol for a defined habitat for example wern horn rhino is uh, an ambassador for the kaziranga national park therefore wern horn rhino is acting as a brand ambassador for the kaziranga national park these species they have certain kind of charismatic appeal that's why they are uh, used as flagship species of a particular habitat 
particular place similarly swamp tears found in the uh, in the in madhya pradesh in the kana national park are also flagship species of kana national park swamp tears are also known as barasinga now the next important concept is umbrella species what are umbrella species these species umbrella species they generally have a very large geographical area and these species keep on migrating from one area to another areas and in order to protect these species the government usually they usually announce the entire area where these species move and migrate as a protected area तो इसके पीछे कॉन्सेप्ट ये है कि अगर हमने इतने बड़े एरिया को अगर प्रोटेक्ट कर लिया तो दैट इट सेल्फ मीन्स कि हमने इनडायरेक्टली बाकी दूसरी जो स्पीशीज़ है उनको भी प्रोटेक्ट कर लिया जो कि उस एरिया के अंदर सर्वाइव करती हैं फॉर एग्जांपल एलिफेंट कैन बी टर्म्ड एज अम्ब्रेला स्पीशीज दे माइग्रेट फ्रॉम वन एरिया टू अनदर एरिया दे मूव फ्रॉम वन एरिया टू अनदर एरिया एंड इफ वी प्रोटेक्ट द होल एरिया देन वी प्रोटेक्ट द होल इको अदर एग्जाम्पल्स आर गेंगेटिक डॉल्फिनस और स्नो लेपर्ड्स Now the next concept is foundation species. As the name denotes, foundation species are very critical to a particular area or a particular ecosystem. They are the foundation. They are the bedrock of existence of other species. जब भी हम कोई भी घर बनाते हैं हम कहते हैं कि उसकी foundation, उसकी जो नींव है वो बड़ी strong होनी चाहिए It is because of the foundation species that other species has have come and survive in that area. Initially there was nothing in an area. Now first the foundation species came it made the area habitable for another other species that is why all other species came to the area the best example of foundation species is coral reef coral polyps coral polyps they construct the coral reefs and when the coral reef is constructed then the zooxanthellae which is an, an, an algae it comes and stay there now this zooxanthellae is an algae and it is a food material for other animal species so therefore other animal species will also come in that particular area had these coral polyps not constructed the structure or the house in which zooxanthellae could live then all these species other species would not have come another example is of lichens lichens are nothing but uh, these are fungus plus algae algae एंड uh, सबसे पहले फॉर और फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक ओरिजिनल रॉक होती है उस रॉक के ऊपर लाइकन्स आते हैं लाइकन्स के आने के बाद वहाँ पर मोसेज डेवलप होना शुरू होते हैं मोसेज के डेवलप होने के बाद उस एरिया में फिर प्लांट्स आने शुरू हो जाते हैं प्लांट्स आने के बाद डिफरेंट एनिमल्स आना शुरू हो जाते हैं एंड स्लोली स्लोली अ ग्रीन फॉरेस्ट इज डेवलप्ड देर फॉर लाइकन्स हैव एक्टेड एज फाउंडेशन स्पीशीज Now let us study another important concept, which is indicator species. These indicator species they indicate the health of the habitat. If the health of an ecosystem changes, health of an habitat changes, then these indicator species they give, they represent, or they uh, act as an early warning system. For example, coral reefs they indicate oceanic acidification. coral reefs are very sensitive marine species if there is acidification in the ocean water if there is oceanic acidification then the zooxanthellae which is residing in the coral polyps it will move away from the coral polyps and the color of the corals will change earlier if zooxanthellae is there then the it will be multicolored the coral re coral reefs are of multiple colors and if zooxanthellae moves away then coral reef will turn white this is nothing but leaching of coral reefs therefore coral reefs their color changes it turns to white which is termed as coral bleaching due to the phenomenon of ocean acidification and ocean acidification happens due to marine pollution similarly gharials are very very sensitive to the water pollution if the river water is polluted then the gharials will die so the second example of indicator species is gharial the third example is lichens if air is polluted with sulfur dioxide then lichens will die in that particular environment another example is that of canary birds canary birds are helpful useful in detecting poisonous gases in the coal mines when a canary 
start shaking their cages or stop singing then it signals to the miners that methane is present in the environment and coal miners they evacuate the area immediately so thank you students this was all about today's lecture